Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. It is the Michael Jordan of Hotels. And today we're going to be talking about why the best employees make less money. It was prophesied that another Jordan will be born who will be greater than Michael Jordan. But he won't be the MJ of basketball. He will be the MJ of hotels. Prophecy fulfilled. You know, good employees, everybody wants them. Unfortunately, everybody doesn't want to pay them. <laughs> You're definitely going to have to pay a premium price for something good. But for some strange reasons, a lot of companies don't want to pay a premium price for good employees. And for that reason, good employees make less money. I remember um, I had this housekeeper she was actually able she was able to finish a room in 15 20 minutes she was lightning fast bah, 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 bah. i actually seen her do it with my own eyes the girl was a, a rock star but guess what we gave a list to, of 16 rooms to one housekeeper and then gave her a list of 16 rooms and guess what happened she had to go home early which means she let she made less money why because she was so fast so she got she got paid less money for being good at what she does you would think she would have to she would get paid more money so we said well maybe we could just give her more rooms and uh and this way she'll get all her hours so they gave her more rooms and she quit why did she quit because she was getting paid the same amount of money to do more rooms versus the housekeeper that was getting paid the same amount of money to do less rooms. So good employees, a lot of times they find themselves in positions where they are making less money because they've mastered their craft and they're good at what they do. Another, another situation was with maintenance. They had this maintenance guy that could damn near fix anything, right? The guy went on vacation for a couple of weeks and it was an emergency so they had to bring in a contractor to come in and uh, fix a plumbing issue that the maintenance guy could have fixed they paid that contractor like six thousand dollars for like four or five hours worth of work or something like that it included parts and everything and that maintenance the maintenance man probably would have made a couple of hundred dollars that day for working so it cost the hotel six thousand dollars because the maintenance man that could damn near fix anything was not working that day how do you think that maintenance man felt when he seen that the contractor came in and got paid six thousand dollars for a job that he could have did himself I I'm pretty sure if it was me I would have been pretty pissed off the maintenance man was like, you know what? I could just go out and start my own business uh, and, and just do all this stuff myself. And, you know, that $6,000 will last me, you know, a couple of months or, or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, he was so good, but he was too good. And that's why he made less money because he could do anything that these big companies are getting paid to do. And he's not even getting a fraction of what they're getting. So what are some of the things that these good employees need to do? If I'm good at housekeeping and I can knock out a room, I don't wanna get paid per hour. I wanna get paid per room because then it's gonna be fair to me. If I get paid per room, it's gonna be fair to me because I'm gonna get, get paid to knock out 20, 30, 40 rooms, whatever the case may be. Then I'm getting paid what I'm worth, but if I'm getting paid per hour, I'm always going to lose if I'm good at my job. I'm always going to lose if I'm good at my job if I get paid per hour because nobody's going to be able to do what I can do in amount of time that I can do it in. Okay? Same thing with maintenance. If it's a big job, there should be some type of incentive package for that maintenance guy because I swear I've seen some rooms that were tore up maintenance had to go in there and knock it out 
fix up, literally rebuild the whole room. A job that would have cost a easy four or five thousand dollars. They did it, you know, for a couple hundred dollars plus parts and whatever the case may be. So there's got to be some type of incentive package for maintenance for doing bigger jobs because at the end of the day if you have to call somebody else instead of maintenance you're 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 going to dig yourself in such a big hole that you'll never be able to get out of because you can't have a down room down rooms don't make money same thing with front desk i've seen front desk agents do 125 check-ins in one day i've seen other front desk ag agents struggle to do 30 check-ins Okay, there is no incentive for being the best, which is why a lot of times the best either go out on their own, they they promote them as fast as they can to a management position to, to give them more money, give them salary so they feel comfortable, or they end up being stuck in a very unrewarding and unfulfilling position because they know they're getting the the shorter end of the stick because being good is now working against them. See, if I was terrible at what I did, I don't I don't care because I get paid per hour. But because but because I'm good at what I do, being good is working against me, not for me. Let me know your thoughts. Leave it in the comments below. And as usual, make sure you go check out our book, The Hotel Revenue Bible, which is going to be in stores very soon. It's coming soon to a to an audible near you and you know what we're here to do hotel guest management here to make your revenues rise up once again